3DFX games were recently given a nice performance boost in MAME. I thought this would be a good time for me to share a tip I have on how to get the best performance out of Gauntlet Legends and Gauntlet Dark Legacy. I used to play on standard resolution, but with the recent changes I can easily play in medium res and even get the game to run faster than it should. My computer was pretty high end when I bought it, but that was almost four years ago at this point. All the footage in this video was captured on medium resolution using that machine. If you struggled with these games in the past, it's certainly worth giving them a try now with the recent changes. At the time of this video, MAME 0.235 is the latest version, and that's the version I recommend trying it on. Even if you get the game running at full speed, there's still an issue. It appears to be some sort of problem with the frame rate. Usually when you start the game, you'll notice some things are off. For example, the text is kind of choppy as it scrolls here. The full motion videos will often show screen tearing near the bottom. You can sometimes see screen tearing during gameplay as well, and the background looks very choppy as you walk around. The strange thing is that sometimes when you boot the game up or reset it, it doesn't have this problem. It may happen on one of the first attempts, but other times it may take 15 to 20 attempts before it works correctly. I can't figure out why it works sometimes, it just seems random. The good news is that if you create a save state when it's working correctly, you can just load it to instantly get it working right. In the description I've provided a link to save states I've created that you can use. Just dump them into the correct STA folder for the game you're playing. Save state 1 is for medium resolution, and save state 2 is for standard resolution if you're using that instead. Just hit F7, then 1 or 2, depending on which you're using. Note that these save states were made in MAME 0.235, so you'll need that version for them to work correctly. Whatever progress you've made with your initials and password is stored on the hard drive difference file in your diff folder. Once you get a game over screen, your progress is saved. This is independent of the save state, so there's no need to create a new save state every time. Your stats will all be there. I found that the game doesn't stay in the correct frame rate mode forever. After a game over, it typically gets messed up again once you get back to the attract mode. Of course, you can always just load the save state again and the problem will be fixed. Anyway, I hope this video helps. Definitely give the games a try in the new MAME if you've had trouble in the past. Switch the resolution dip switch to standard if you're still struggling and don't shoot the food. <laughs>